what can cause a lack of power and energy for magical practice? And how can it be restored? Well, based on what Max is asking about, there is a kind of power drain or power loss. And as a result, there is a lack of energy to do magical work. Let's try to understand this problem, because I think you will either be touched by it sooner or later, or you have already experienced it. This kind of problem happens. It's true. There can be several reasons for this. They fall into two categories, external and internal. The internal reasons have to do with a kind of blockage in the consciousness that prevents the passage of certain currents of power on which the magical discipline is based. The external reasons are caused by processes in which the currents are intentionally blocked or by some fatal situation in the outside world. We will be able to see and understand this matter well if we remind ourselves of the sevenfold structure of the human consciousness. As you know a person has seven subtle bodies, the physical, etheric, and astral bodies accumulate and process the energy that one takes in from the external world and from the internal source. The higher bodies, the atmic, buddhic, and causal one form packages of knowledge about how this energy should be used. The mental body, which is in the middle, is a kind of map that describes the territory for us and serves as a mediator between the lower and the higher levels. Realizing this, we can ask ourselves the question, at what level has the blockage occurred? And it's necessary not only to understand it but also to feel it. If the blockage occurred on the energy levels, it means that something happened to the energy generator, with the physical, etheric or astral bodies. If the blockage occurred on the higher levels, it means that something has happened to the informational layers. In the latter case, it may be some information that blocks other information and does not give the opportunity to take energy from the outside world. The magical law says, the more information the higher levels of consciousness are filled with, the more energy they can attract from the surrounding world at once. So it's not a problem for a developed magical consciousness to take energy from any source. If one source is blocked, we take energy from another one. If another source is blocked, we take it from a third one. Because inside there is a certain generator that transforms one kind of energy into another. There's always energy there, in sufficient quantity and of the quality you need. Probably something has happened to the informational layers of consciousness. But the problem can also happen to the energetic layers of consciousness, that is, the generator that processes one type of energy into another has broken down. Therefore, to understand where the power has gone and why there is not enough energy to perform magic, you must find the source of the problem. This can be done through one's own internal diagnosis, and one who is engaged in magical practices can, while listening to one's sensations, ask oneself questions that form a certain complete volume of memory, that will tell what happened the day before, from what moment one felt the outflow of energy, what contributed to it. Maybe you met someone. Maybe you had an unpleasant conversation. Maybe you just ate something wrong. That's also a factor. 
so you have to find the source of the problem. To do this, you should slowly go through all the subtle bodies and listen to yourself to see where you feel the lack of energy. When you find the level, you can start to study the causes. Nothing comes from nothing. Nothing happens without a cause, everything has a reason. The law of cause and effect is the most important magical law we all believe in. There is a reason for everything. It's just that the reason may not be obvious, it may be hidden, maybe you had a fight with someone and suddenly there was an energy drain. Why would that happen? Obviously there was some kind of energetic damage. Maybe you missed the damage because you weren't expecting a trick from the person, maybe you just got some information that temporarily blocked some additional sources at the level of the mental body, the causal body and maybe even the buddhic body. We speak of internal problems because such effects have to do mainly with the inner world of consciousness, with the inner world of a mage. Of course, there are the external reasons, but they do not happen very often. The energetic world from which we receive nourishment is stable and has all self-regulating systems. Unless, of course, there are problems that are fatal. A volcanic eruption, a flood, and some natural disasters. But this problem is obvious, and usually during natural disasters the magical consciousness does not lose energy, but gains it, because such disasters create massive bursts of energy. But sometimes it happens that the magical consciousness is used to and has adapted to working with certain energy frequencies. For example, the frequencies of the earth, and suddenly something starts to change with those frequencies. Something happens with the Schumann resonance. The consciousness, not being used to such changes, simply blocks the energy of earth at that moment. You can feel it through the work of the first chakra, through the state of your vital rhythm. Shift your point of attention deep into earth and see what is happening there. Perhaps the frequencies have changed everywhere, including the area where the practitioner lives. And if you realize that the frequencies you are used to working with are necessary for you, that your consciousness cannot yet work on other frequencies, then you have to follow them with your current of powers and change the location. Sometimes you have to do that, and sometimes it could be because a higher channel of information is blocked. The connection to one's gods and source is lost. The reason can be both internal and external. The internal reason is the blocking of that channel, and the external reason is the egregorial wars or the battle of the gods. It is difficult to deal with, but it is possible. You just have to be prepared that the informational current will stop for some time. Try to perceive such changes as a cold, a virus, or any other simple ailment. And as long as a magician's consciousness lives in a human body, it is to some extent dependent on all the peculiarities of human consciousness. Hence the conclusion. Once you have identified where the problem lies, you need to solve it accordingly, to the point of eliminating the source of the problem. It could be that the place just doesn't suit you anymore because of a general cataclysm, a general restructuring. So first of all you have to find another place, a place where you can get the energy of earth, the energy and the power of the environment in the amount that you need. Second, and this is the easiest thing to do, is to revise your diet, perhaps the frequencies of earth, combined with your usual diet, 
no longer provide the necessary reserve of strength. After all, the biological human body imposes certain limitations. Perhaps you need to cleanse yourself, get rid of toxins, and change your diet. For example, you were a vegetarian, but you became a meat eater or vice versa. Listen to yourself, listen to your body, understand what it wants right now and follow its desires. Don't ignore it, don't follow this habit. You should try to listen to your own desires. You can do it through meditation, you can do it in your ordinary life. What are you missing? What kind of desires do you have? Usually the astral body reflects them very well. Suddenly you want to read something, watch something, talk to someone, think about something. Perform some ritual. Bring offerings to the spirits of a place. That is, you want to listen to your own desires. Nothing ever happens by accident. The mental body may ask for some additional information. And again, you should listen to its needs. The mental body doesn't play the last role here. Although in the consciousness it has the function of a mirror, a reflection of the world. Sometimes it happens that this volume of memory becomes full. For example, you may be overflowing with some kind of information and your consciousness says, I can't take it anymore, let me rest. You keep reading this Blavatsky, you keep reading this Crowley, and I'm overloaded and totally exhausted by these authors, let's take a break. It is quite possible that the mental body can cause a brain freeze and block some sources of information. It makes it impossible to take energy from the outside world, the astral realm, and the etheric plane. Therefore your consciousness, deprived of these sources, becomes de-energized. So again, you have to listen to yourself and think about what information the consciousness is asking for or what information it wants to get rid of. Sometimes it's enough to tell someone what you've read, or just to write down the events of a few days in your diary, and you've already emptied yourself, you've already freed up space for new information, and the problem goes away on its own. These are good methods, and they generally help a lot of people. Next. You may have to enter an event just to get to a different timeline or series of events. And it's the same here. You have to listen to your desires and understand what you want to do and where you want to be at that particular moment. Or you may want to go through some ritual test, like bungee jumping right away going into the woods, or breaking some rule by crossing the border not through the frontier post, but through the forest. In other words, you need to move to another event-based field by any means necessary. Here it's also necessary to listen to your desires. In the consciousness of a mage, nothing ever happens for nothing, everything is used in the magical practice. Or again, you may want to perform some ritual, some rite. You must be very attentive to such impulsive desires and sudden needs. Look around you. You may have brought some element into your home, into your space. It may be an artifact that contains certain symbols that are some kind of egregorial channel or egregorial attachment that is blocking some sources of information. It can happen to you if you have brought home some ritual attributes that do not correspond to your channel. Then the channel is closed because it cannot coexist with those attributes. 
This is especially true of pagan religions and Abrahamic religions, they do not coexist well together. Or you may have received a gift with meaning. Take a good look around you, look closely at the things in your present environment, and try to sense which of them might contain symbols that are harmful to your channel, to your magical work. And of course, you can contact your own force. You can make a request to your force through meditation and try to get information about what the problem is, what its causes are, and what you need to do to solve it. In any case, do not be afraid, colleague, many of us have to face this problem. No one is safe from it. Everyone chooses their own methods to deal with this problem. Some people start by grounding themselves, for example by doing some physical work. Because sometimes an exhausted body can draw attention away from itself. But this usually helps when a person is very dependent on his own body. Or, on the contrary, you may become stubborn in performing various rituals. And if you don't understand a ritual, you repeat it over and over again until you get it right. That's a good method, too, by the way. As popular wisdom says, little strokes fell great oaks. So here everything depends only on you. And each of us should be well aware that things do not always work out in the most favorable way. You should understand very well that we live in an energy informational, living world, and different things are happening in it. And nothing will ever be stable, including your own channels, protection, contacts, and energy, everything will change and you just have to be plastic. You have to feel the changes, understand them, maneuver between them, adapt to them, keep up with the times, keep your finger on the pulse and be aware of the changes that are taking place. Remember that you have your own purpose and you realize it in this event-based field.